Hi, welcome. Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to do a battery replacement on a Dell P75F. If you're not sure where to find the model, take a look at the back of your laptop. You should be able to identify with the tiny little print right there that says P75F. And let's go ahead and get started. The reason why I like to change out the battery because the laptop is not holding the charge. I can fully charge the, the laptop up to 100% and without charging the computer, I can run YouTube, I would say about like 40 minutes and the battery would drain all the way down to 5%. So if the computer only lasts for 45 minutes with just YouTube playing in the background without nothing else, then I think that the battery is just not holding the charge anymore, okay? So it is time for a battery replacement because the laptop itself is about five years old. Four, I think it's about four or five years old. By the way, I'm using a Phillips screwdriver. That is the PH1. That is the size of the Philip here. Uh, the screws on the top, the three screws do not come off. And the tiny little screw here is for the, else, uh, what do you call the CD-ROM. And same goes with this tiny little screw. That is for the CD-ROM, and then you can slide that CD to your left. There are two hidden screws here. You need to make sure you remove the two hidden screws. I dropped one of them. Let me go pick it up. Okay, once you have removed the two screws, go ahead and remove the rest. And again, making sure that you know the screws are not the same. So when you remove them, I recommend you to position the screws so that you know how to put them back together. Okay, so for those of you who are not sure with what to buy for the battery, I'll list it down in the description below. You probably can get them through eBay or Amazon. Um, so go ahead and check the link down in the description below. I will link those directly to, uh, to the website. All right, once you have removed all the screws, the next step is to go ahead and pry open the plastic cover. I like to work from the top right corner. Okay, you can get a plastic prying tool, stick it in between. Doesn't open up, let's try the other side. Bottom left. So you're going to stick it in between that plastic cover and the, the base of the laptop. I have one screw that I missed. I didn't see that. Why am I having such a hard time? What's going on? All right, there you go. Gotta apologize on that part. I was taking me a while to remove that back cover. Now, once you remove the back cover, you can pretty much identify the battery is sitting here at the bottom right corner. And this is your hard drive, just so you know, if you're looking for the hard drive. Now, I'm not sure if you can see it, but the battery is actually swollen. If you can see that a little lump coming off from the cell on the battery, and you can feel the lump is very hard. Okay, so that tells me the battery is actually dying. And it is time to replace. Alright, so go ahead and disconnect the battery connector by sliding this down okay let me kind of zoom in a little bit so all you have to do is just slide it down 
Get a Phillips screwdriver, go ahead and remove the screws as one. It's one screw here. Second screw is on the other side. The third and the fourth. So four screws and then the entire battery will just pop right out. And again, I'm not sure if you can see that little bubble or little lump sticking out on the battery. So it's time to replace. Not sure what to look for. That is the model number WDX0R. Okay. Here comes the replacement part. I have the uh, the battery here ready to be replaced. And you can see that the new battery is flat. Okay. So that is also one way of indicator telling you that the battery is good versus the lumpy battery. All right. To install, all you have to do is just put them back together. Some of them do not come with the connector, but you can just transfer from the old connector like so. Just pull it out. Okay. And then transfer it back in. Have four screws go back in it. And one of them is broken, so there's only three. To install, all you have to do is slide it back in and then push it all the way in. Okay, once you have done with that process, the next step is to have the back cover installed. So here comes the back cover. What I like to do is hook it from the top. So the top would kind of hook it in first, like such. And then just press it all around the corner and have the screws that go back in it. So there are two screws here. Do not forget there's on the side. It's going to slide the CD-ROM back in. Two tiny screws that's holding it down. There's one here. This one here. And the rest of it is for the middle section. And this one here at the bottom. And that should do it. So just a quick reminder, if you're not sure where to buy the battery, check the link down in the description below. I'll direct you to either Amazon or eBay where you can buy the battery directly from them and also the tools if you do not have the right tools for this replacement battery okay that's pretty much it and then just charge the computer for a good six hours and then do not overcharge what happened to it when the battery lifetime has shortened because that you leave the charger plugged in all the time if I have predicted that correctly, please comment down below saying that you're one of them who does not remove the charger when the battery is fully charged. Okay, so do not do that. And again, um, I just want to emphasize here that do not leave the charger plugged into the laptop 24-7 or overnight. When you overcharge the battery, this would happen. Okay, do not overcharge the battery because when the battery gets swollen like this, well, this is minor. Some of the battery is really, really swollen and really big, and they can actually explode and catch fire. So uh, just be cautious, you know, when you're charging, when you're using it, charge it while you're using it. And when you're done using it, just unplug it, uh, unplug the charger and, and be done with it. Okay, do not just leave it plugged in. Uh, do not leave it overnight charging as well. Okay. This is all I have for you. And if you do find this video is helpful, I'm, all I'm asking is a little thumbs up for me. Uh, comment down below if you have any question. I do walk you through. I do answer those questions. And again, um, 
if you want to show appreciation you can click on super thanks uh, youtube do have super thanks and we should allow you to show appreciation and support the channel thanks for watching until next time bye now